This is called privacy settings. If justice is a balance, I'm the child who couldn't reach the pivot but cried, Miss, I didn't do it! I'm the woman who would burn as a witch but not confess a crime she didn't commit. I'm the tortured man who'd suffer but not implicate another who did not deserve his protection. If I use this medium, writing poems and reading them to channel this rage, a loud emotion soak this page, my words might assuage this frustration that turns my blood to lava. But I hold my tongue, for I will not descend to the lowest rung on the ladder of decency, for I believe intimacy is sacred, and my internal privacy is set to friends I can count on one hand. And though we've crossed the fine line between love and hatred, and you spill lies like red wine that leave a stain on my character, red wine will not discolour my veins. If pens are mightier than swords, keyboards trump machine guns. How many ears have you burnt, or minds turned against me? Virtual strangers befriend us. We invented walls to defend us, to keep enemies in or out, but you've breached my wall to shout at me, in capitals. And if a problem shared is halved, and halved again each time it's aired, your woes must be subatomic. Simple mathematics. And though your amateur dramatics would fill a psychiatrist's casebook, and though you're washing your dirty linen on Facebook, words will not be my weapon. If justice is a balance, the scales are weighted in your favour. And though the child in me is screaming, It's not fair! I will not share. Or call me old-fashioned, but sharing once meant generosity. Not endorsing a product or exploiting the latest atrocity. Or promoting yourself while expressing your animosity at my expense. I have no defence. While truth declares my innocence, dignity gags me. I cannot show it. And if that makes me less of a poet, then so be it. Because it's none of your fucking business.